All right, so um, what we're going to do is start to look at exterior systems. And the way I usually do this is I start to do skin before I do any kind of secondary structural system. Um, and by secondary, I mean we have our primary structural system, which is the core in the center. But a secondary structural system would be something that lives kind of more toward the exterior. Um, what I want to to focus on is two completely different systems that are integrated in, in where they start to, to touch um, and, and create nodal points and connections that are integral to the structure. So um, what I'm going to create is sort of a, a swooping structural truss form that's kind of wrapping its way around the outside of the building. Okay, and, and I don't have an image for you uh, but we'll wing it and you'll kind of understand what's going on as we do this. So um, first, I think the thing that we're going to generate is the curves. And these are going to be more like control point curves. And they're going to generate an exterior um, alignment, kind of just something that we can use to align around the exterior. But the way that I'm going to build it is from the bottom left corner here on this facade to the midpoint of this facade. And then I'm going to wrap around to the second facade over there, and I'm going to connect to the top point. And that's going to give me this arc that touches down in the middle around two sides of the building. Okay, so there's a reason I did that, and that's because once you wrap around two sides of the building with one curve, they become two systems that aren't speaking to one another directly. Do you understand what I mean by that? And a quick diagram on the board is like this. If we have our facade that looks like that, and I went from this corner to that corner with my, my call it my structural uh, center line or whatever you want to call it, um, that is a closed system, and it speaks to itself really easily. I can, I can find center points, I can connect center points, I can you know, subdivide and connect all those subdivisions very, very easily. But what happens is when I in uh, introduce another side of the building, if that curve is wrapping around, then what I need to do is figure out how I get this part of that system to speak to this surface and that part of that system to speak to this surface. Does that make sense? No? No. Okay. Think of it this way. Surface, we connect something. And then we go like that. Does that diagram make a little bit of sense? We have a surface, we have a system, and that system is falling off of that surface. Therefore, it is not a closed thing. OK? Is that making a little bit more simplistic sense? OK, well, anyway, let's get going. So um, <clears throat> the first thing we need to do is draw our curve. And uh, the way that I'm going to generate this is uh, Basically, I'm going to start with a subdivision of the panel itself. And these panels are all numbered, so it makes it really easily, uh, really e easily, really easy um, for us to isolate those certain um, surfaces. I just need to recall where we put it. That was, yeah, we had our list item. That was this one, I believe, gave us that surface. Yeah. OK. <clears throat> and this is the same surface that we generated. So um, in order to make this a little bit easier on myself, what I'm going to uh, generate here is a, I'm going to create that origin sort of um, panel of all of the subdivisions of my surface, um, of my facades rather, over here. So in order to do that, I'll take this uh, ruled surf and I'm going to make a copy of that using a surface input. Uh, param, I should say. So I'm going to call this base facades. And then you can do that wireless connection thing if you choose. You don't have to. Um, I, they're surfaces. Yeah. So it's it's really easy to just pull this back to that top left corner. Just start collecting all of your references over here. 
And uh, the, the way that I'm going to do this relatively easy is to just create all of my list items right here. So I'll go to um, set list list item. And I'm just going to create four of these that are for 0, 1, 2, and 3. That's 0, 1, 2, and 3. And I'll give you guys a sec to catch up here. But that's what we're trying to generate. And um, just before I go on pause real fast, I just want you to even further create, just create your outputs for each one. It, it doesn't really matter how you do it. We're going to have one. Uh, actually, if you guys made yours the same way I made mine, there's that broken one. I'm just going to ignore that and skip that number. So it's going to be 0, 2, 3, and 4. I apologize for the confusion. I don't know why that surface got generated, but you should have one for each large side of your building. And then you can just plug these in. Okay, um, just name them appropriately. I don't really care what naming system you use, so I'm gonna call this one um, base facade one. And then I'll follow, but I'll give you I'll give you a sec to catch up, guys, and um, I'm going to complete this offline here. All right, so moving on now, um, I'm going to make those wireless copies for each one of these, and just pull it down into a section that I can work on all of these facades because they're all going to get cross-referenced since my system is bleeding from one surface to another. So I'll copy all four of these and then just replace these connections and make them wireless. Did I lose you already? No, 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 no. Sorry. Um, I accidentally copied some stuff. Oh, okay. All right, so I'm going to copy, um, I'm going to take all four of those and move them down here, give myself plenty of room to work with. Okay, so just put them kind of down there in space a little bit. Um, in the interest of visibility, you probably want to turn a lot of your old geometry off, including reference surfaces in the middle. You might even want to turn some of this stuff off as well, so that all you see are the actual facades themselves. So the idea here, um, I'm not worried about my floor plates right now. I just want to get the system to generally work well, um, and then I will figure out how to make it integrate with the floor plates at the end, okay? If that makes any sense. It's a workflow thing. I want you guys to get in the practice of, of kind of grafting in layers of complexity as they become necessary, all right? So the simple form is that I'm going to uh, take facade one. Actually, yeah, I'll take facade one. Let's do that. Let me get rid of some of this extra stuff. I don't need all this. I'm going to take facade one. And I'm going to um, find the bottom left corner down there. Then I'm going to find the midpoint between facade one and facade two. Then I'm going to find, oh, it looks like I'm going right to left with my numbers. That's OK. Um, so I'll just go bottom right to midpoint, and then I'll go to top left on this facade. So facade one, facade two. Um, we're obviously going to need to deconstruct both of them, and it's going to just be simple enough, we just go to deconstruct BREP, plug that in, copy and paste, and plug this in. All right, I'll turn those off just to make it a little bit more clear what's going on. Now, um, this operation is clearly going to be um, very kind of manual in essence. I need to list item to grab specific points quite frequently and specific edges. Um, and so the easy part here, I think, is that if I want to create a line from, from one edge to another, that part is fairly simple. I just go to set list list item, and I'm going to put it on the list of vertices for each panel. And those are going to, um, those are going to go from 
from 0 to 3 because there are four vertices per panel. And then I just need to be careful to pick the correct one. So I slide my slider here across to the right. That's the top right. That's not the one I want. There's the bottom right. Okay, that is the one I want. So for me, it's index item two. For you, it might be a different number, depending on how you built your surfaces. But now you guys are used to that fact, right? That your outcome might be slightly different in terms of selecting index items. No response to me means yes. Okay. Okay. So um, similarly, you just copy that system, move it down. You can grab your vertices from the other system. And this time we want to grab the top left. I'm just showing you this as an example here first. But zero is in the top left, right? And so the idea is if we want to connect from one system, and by system I mean facade, to another, I just need to reference these two systems like this. I can create a line from this item to that item, and that creates a line between the two facades, right? But the problem is that doesn't really, that's inside the building because you're going from opposite corner to opposite corner. We want this system to be outside the building. So the next step for me is I need to find a midpoint on this edge, and I'm going to wrap an interpolate curve around the outside, and that's going to create this bow, this sort of bowing arc around my building. You guys understanding the concept a little bit by now? Anyway, so uh, the way we do it is you can pick either edge, doesn't really matter which one. Let me move that up a little bit, get rid of that. Um, doesn't matter if you pick the, the inside edge of this face or the outside edge of that face. Um, you just need to pick one of them and, and grab the appropriate edge. Um, so it's another copy and paste of this, except you want to swap out edges for vertices. right? So now we're picking individual edges, not points. And um, you can slide that slider back and forth until you find that one in the middle. Okay, it's, it's hard to tell, but there is a green line there. You guys see that? All right. So this happens to be the two edges that have that weird gap. That's a mistake. It really shouldn't be there. You may not have that. I do. Um, we'll figure that out at some point. But anyway. You do have it? Yeah. I mean, if you did everything exactly the same way I did, you will probably have that. I don't know where it came from. But uh, anyway, so we have this edge. We just need to find the middle of that edge and then do an arc from this point to the midpoint of that edge to this point. You guys understand that, right? So um, midpoint is found by using divide curve. I'm going to divide this curve and um, Divide it by uh, two segments. Okay, that gives us a midpoint. But the problem is I need to grab just that point. Otherwise, um, it's going to create three arcs, which might look cool, but it's not what we want to do. Um, see, three points. So I'll, I'll just borrow this list item and plug it in here. Okay, so we have a lot of sliders here going on, and you might want to reorient things to make it clean. But anyway, um, this is going to be index item one to grab that midpoint. Okay, so here's what we're doing. I am mapping an interpolate curve um, under the curve menu under the spline panel. I'm using this one, interpolate, not a NURBS curve. You want interpolate curve. And you're going to go um, and the, the difference here, I think, for interpolate curve is you have to actually create a flattened list uh, for it to read. Theoretically, you could plug in the first one here, and then that one, and then that one. Oh, wait. Interpolation points. Why is that an error? Oh. Okay. You would think, all right, so you would think that you'd be able to do it this way, right? But the problem is it creates an error because some of those points are of a like, a like kind. Uh, this 
is actually the signifier. The number of indices that you see in its uh, index set, that's actually indicative of its tree branch structure, how many branches it has in the structure of the tree. Don't worry too much about this, I just want you to know some background information. But that's why two of them get lumped into a different group than the other one. But that can be flattened. But the problem with flattening it is it's going it, to, it won't be an easily controlled order of points. Okay, So um, one of the best ways of doing this is to use merge. That's under set tree merge. And you just plug them in in order. So we're going to go D1, D2, and D3. And that should create, wait, what? Hang on. We're going to do filter. Just flatten these, I think. Yes, I am. I just got hung up on this. So I'm starting to forget why this won't merge properly. There we go. I flattened them. OK, so um, here's, guys, here's the difference. Um, I don't, you know, this is not something I practice frequently. But when these are not flattened, they carry with them the information of, of the structure of the tree for how it was, to, how it was generated. Right? And so even if after I merge these together, it's the same thing as merging them here, right? It's just, it, it's, it looks the same way. It created list with two items and list with one item. That's because they identify differently. But if I flatten all three of these lists before they go in, that information goes away and it becomes one solid straight list in the order that I put it in. Okay, so now that should generate the proper arc around my building. You guys see that? It seems like a lot of work for a very simple thing, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I have a question. Are you going to like, uh, yeah, show, show us like. Show, show you yeah, what? Show us what you did, like go over, but like. Recap? Where you connect, yeah, where you connected. Yeah, all that. Okay. I'll recap what happened, okay? It, it's, it, it seems like a lot of work for a simple thing, but it's really not because this whole thing can just be plugged in to relationships from one system to the next, and then we have an arc wrapping around our entire building. But anyway, what we did was we took, we took um, the surface of one facade and the surface of the adjacent facade, and we deconstructed them to grab individual... Um, Points. Okay, we grabbed the point in the bottom right corner. That's this guy, mm -hmm. right? And then we grabbed the point in the top left corner on the other adjacent facade. That's this one. Okay, so the reason it looks so complicated is because we're blending two different systems. And by systems, I mean facades. Okay, the reason I call it a system is because a facade generally has a boundary within which it's easy to operate. When you start blending the two together, it's not so easy anymore. Anyway, so um, <clears throat> so we took that, and this little section right here was just something that we created in order to get a midpoint. That's all this serves to get, is the midpoint of the edge that exists between the two facades. Make sense so far? Okay. So think of this this way, right? We have point one point two, and then the midpoint between them. Got that? And then it's really easy. All we did was take that, merge it into one list, so that we can do an interpolate curve with it. Yes? This one? Yeah. No. You, this is not necessary. I just didn't take it off. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys a little bit to catch up here. And then we'll continue on.